Man gets rescued after being trapped inside of Banks ATM room. Now you might be wondering how the heck can something like this happen? Well I'm about to tell you. So this happened at Texas at a Bank of America in Corpus Christi. This man was a contractor and he actually got trapped inside the ATM room at the bank when he was changing out a lock. And wouldn't you know it as luck would have it he didn't have his phone on him. So he did what any sensible person would do and started to write on receipt paper and slip those notes to the outside world through the ATM receipt slot. Could you even imagine that? You're just there doing your baking and some random little piece of paper starts wiggling its way through the slot. I mean just for the pure purpose of curiosity you're gonna take a look at it. And the note read, please help I'm stuck in here and I don't have my phone, please call my boss and he listed the number. I swear if you went and told this story to a friend later in the day they wouldn't believe you, it's just that ridiculous. So no surprise some of the customers thought this was a joke, however luckily one person did call the police. The officers managed to kick down the door and the man was free after nearly two hours of being trapped. That's just crazy. Hello everyone and welcome back to LP, I'm Court McGinley. Thank you for joining me on this lovely Saturday. Now as always we have a bunch of interesting news stories headed your way so without any further ado let's get into it. Next the giant hairball the size of a melon has been removed from a teenager's stomach. 16 year old Akantra Kumari has secretly been eating her own hair for years. Recently she was having trouble eating and was constantly throwing up so her parents took her to the hospital. When doctors took an x-ray it revealed that she had a huge mass taking up more than 80% of her stomach. She went into surgery and doctors were shocked when they pulled out this massive lump of hair from her stomach. Look at this. It's insane. After this she was diagnosed with trichophagia, which is a disorder where people compulsively eat their own hair. The surgeon said that this surgery was a challenging one because they had to extract the hairball in one go. They weren't able to do it piece by piece because they could risk dropping strands of hair into the body cavity and that would lead to further complications. Luckily after the surgery the teen is doing much better. Next Shia LaBeouf has admitted he's an addict and officially hit rock bottom. Now this doesn't come as a total shock as the actor has had some pretty bizarre public outbursts over the past few years. But it's great that he's now able to admit he has a problem and is seeking help. His most recent outburst happened just last week when the Transformers star was arrested for public drunkenness and disorderly conduct. Once at the station he thought it would be a good idea to verbally assault a police officer. And as if things couldn't get worse this outburst was caught on video and put online. Here's a clip. You're a Sorry, brother, hey. Ain't making the situation no better. <laughs> After this was released, Shia posted a public apology on Twitter which said, I am deeply ashamed of my behavior and make no excuses for it. The severity of my behavior is not lost on me, it's a new low. A low I hope is a bottom. I have been struggling with addiction publicly for far too long and I am actively taking steps towards securing my sobriety and I hope I can be forgiven for my mistakes. After this Shia went back to set of a new film that he's shooting. It seems like Shia is determined to get his life back on track and hopefully soon he will be in a better place. Next, speaking about celebrities, Madonna has opened a pediatric surgery center in Malawi. This is amazing. Madonna proceeded over the opening of the Mercy James Institute for Pediatric Surgery and Intensive Care at the Queen Central Hospital. This is the first center of its kind in the African country and it was funded by Madonna's charity. Madonna released a statement ahead of the opening ceremony where she stated, Malawi has enriched my family more than I could ever imagine. It's important for me to make sure that all of my children from the country maintain a strong connection to their birth nation and equally important to show them that together humans have the power to change the world for the better. This medical facility also has a playroom, an outdoor play structure and inspirational murals. Next, 20 year old football player collapsed during a game and suffered permanent brain damage. Happy Nori is a 20 year old Ajax midfielder and has suffered serious and permanent brain damage after collapsing on the field. Nori was airlifted to a hospital in Austria which is where the match was taking place. He was a fantastic player who played 15 league and cup games for Ajax from 2016 to 2017. Once at the hospital it was revealed that the player had heart rhythm problems during the game. Earlier this week the players were tested and those tests showed that his heart was functioning normally and brain scans did not detect any abnormalities. But these new tests have shown the damage is irreversible. Since the accident players have been sending their thoughts and prayers over social media. Next NASA is concerned by a 75,000 mile wide hole appearing in the sun. Well that doesn't sound good. So yeah NASA has spotted this huge hole in the sun and experts have warned that it could cause radio blackouts on earth. So basically it could knock out communication satellites and create radiation storms. 
The spot seems to be lingering and it's beginning to become a concern. This hole is caused by the sun's magnetic field. About this, NASA said, a new sunspot group has rotated into view and seems to be growing rather quickly. It is the first sunspot to appear after the sun was spotless for two days. And it's the only sunspot group on the sun at this moment. It could be the source for some solar flares, but it's too early to predict just what it will do. Well, that's kind of frightening, but we'll keep you guys up to date. Next, I have some more not so fun news. Higher sea levels are expecting to flood dozens of US cities. For several years now, scientists have been trying to warn people about the danger of rising sea levels due to climate change. And now people are finally listening. There's now a comprehensive list of US cities that might not make it through the next 20 to 50 or even 80 years due to sea levels rising. If predictions are accurate, some of these places include New York, Boston, San Francisco, and Miami. The cities expected to be affected by as early as 2035 aren't too surprising. They include Jersey Shore and parts of North Carolina, South Louisiana, and neighboring areas that have been known to be vulnerable for years. By 2060, this list grows to hundreds of coastal communities including Gladstone, Texas, Florida, Hilton Head, South Carolina, Ocean City, Maryland, and many other cities along the Jersey Shore. By the end of the century, residents will need to migrate and abandon their homes. It's been reported that the cost to keep the water out is too high and only provides a temporary fix. This is why many people were so pissed about President Trump's promise to withdraw from the Paris Agreement. This agreement had a goal to keep the planet's global warming to a minimum. Hopefully now that more people are realizing that this is a fast approaching issue, more people will do what they can to help. Well there you have it, that's all the news stories I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see all of you lovely people again on Tuesday.